But first, there are new developments in the chaos on opening day at Six Flags Over Georgia. Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Courtney Bryant. Hello and welcome. I'm Tom Haynes. The teen who cops say uh, they're shot, they say that he allegedly shot at them, and now he's facing charges this evening. Meanwhile, social media videos have surfaced suggesting that the violence was all planned. Fox Eyes Rob Darienzo is live in Cobb County for us tonight. And Rob, what have you found out? Guys, so many questions about those videos posted to TikTok and other social media. But right now, I want to show you Cobb County crime scene investigators are back here at the scene. They tell us they're doing an article search of the area to ensure no weapons were discarded in this Saturday incident. Meanwhile, the teen who police say shot at them is under arrest. One woman who says she reported those posts to Crime Stoppers thinks more could have been done. All this shooting, it has to stop, especially with these young people. Naja Barron says she tried to warn police about the alarming posts on TikTok. Point of view, you live in Atlanta and you already know what finna go down March 2nd at Six Flags with a laughing emoji. I called the tip line to let them know what was happening and what I had seen on social media and how they can see it as well on social media and that was it. Nothing else was done. Cop police say they were already aware. In the middle of the brawl, the GBI says cop police shot 15-year-old Sai year Littlefield after they say he shot at them. He's now in critical condition at Grady, facing charges that include aggravated assault on an officer. Now there are questions about safety at and around the park. Last year's opening day was also marred by kids fighting. Cobb County Commissioner Monique Sheffield tells Fox 5, I am disappointed and share safety concerns, adding currently Six Flags does not have a chaperone policy. Perhaps this incident will allow an opportunity for us to revisit that conversation. Outreach to these young you have to let them know that what they're doing is not right. This is not how you live your life. Atlanta is not about this. Right next door to the amusement park. This is the arcade that you probably are familiar with from when you were 10. A church-run community center called Riverside Epicenter is trying to get these kids engaged. On Saturday, they watched the massive police presence at their front door. The reality is, is that, you know, safety is uh, paramount to making sure people um, feel welcomed in a place. And so we we want to create that safe space. And back out here live, you can see those metal detectors that police were using. Now, reps for Six Flags did not want to do an interview today, but I did ask them about those uh, proposals from that commissioner about mandating chaperones for certain minors. We are still waiting to hear back from them on that. That's the latest from here live in Cobb County. Rob DiRienzo, Fox 5 News. Wow. All right, Rob, thanks. U.S. Representative Mike